loads of you out there have used lockdown to try and be more creative and maybe try your hand at a bit of writing. So if you're looking for some tips, keep watching. Yes, because in the summer we launched our As You Write It competition with the Shakespeare North Playhouse, a playwriting competition for children and young people aged 7 to 16. I was lucky enough to be one of the judges and the response was absolutely fantastic. But we managed to whittle all the entries down to just nine. Yeah. And each of the nine finalists now has the chance to work with professionals to write their plays. Then one winner from each of the three age categories will be chosen to have their play performed at the Shakespeare North Playhouse, a brand new theatre currently being built in Prescott, Merseyside. But where do you start when writing your very first play? Well, it's a question we put to some very qualified, well-known faces. With a whole country in lockdown, our first mentoring session is taking place online. But our nine finalists, whose entries were judged entirely anonymously on the basis of their ideas alone, are still in for a real treat. Think about creating big, memorable characters. I try and always remember this little saying, which is, don't get it right, get it written. And I allow myself to be like, it's just a first draft, nobody else is going to see it. We have a fantastic lineup of actors and writers ready to offer up expert advice on how to get right in. I'm really looking forward to doing this mentoring session and I can't wait to get started. I'm really excited because I'm going to get loads of good advice from professionals who know a lot about this. First up is award-winning playwright Evan Placey, who's had his plays performed all over the world. He's got tips that can help not just our finalists, but anybody trying their hand at writing a story. There needs to be an obstacle in the way of a character getting what they want. So this is what I call the wants but sentence, which is a character wants something but something. My role today is to give them a script workshop, to equip them with all the tools they need to go off and write their own scripts. I think it will be hard to turn my idea into play, but it is a challenge and I'm always up for a challenge. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty nervous about writing the actual play because I've never done it before, but I'm very excited to learn how to do it. When you're creating characters, think about your favourite characters and why you love them. Actor, director, writer and star of Doctor Who, Noel Clarke, also has specific advice about creating characters. As an actor, the thing I find most exciting in scripts is probably the characters. If you have really good characters, you can watch anything. Obviously, the plot and the story is really important, but for me, getting to the heart of the characters and knowing them is, is the thing I like the most. Award-winning actress Sheridan Smith is interested in characters who have more to them than first meets the eye. When you're writing a play, it's very easy to write the kind of heroine or hero as a very nice person and that's it. You know, or the villain as they're just evil. And that's a little bit boring. You know, they were all very complex people. I know I've got lots of layers, I'm like an onion. So play with that when you're writing a play, I think. Frank Cottrell Boyce is one of the competition's judges. As well as a best-selling author, he's also an experienced screenwriter. He knows how daunting scripts can be to a first-time writer. Do not be afraid of the impossible. Quite often when people sit down to write a first play, they will kind of be unambitious about the world of the play because in their heads they're just seeing actors on a stage talking. Don't worry about that. You'll have geniuses in design and technology helping you to so dream big. Also keen to motivate our finalists is multi-talented actress and author, Carrie Hope Fletcher. My one big piece of advice when it comes to writing, never wait for motivation because you will end up making a cup of tea, getting a biscuit, there will always be a million other things to do. So just sit down and start writing whether you feel like it or not. And remember, you can edit later, even if what you're writing you think is rubbish. Fix it later. Of course, our young writers have lots of questions. How do you make your characters believable in a play? How can I do special effects like lightning and explosions? And some questions are more complex than others. How can you put in a paradox without it being too confusing? Whoa! <laughs> it's fine for an audience to be confused and to have to puzzle things out. As long as they trust you, as long as there's enough in the play to think it's going to be worth it and I want to find out the answer to this, then do it, go for it. Well, that's about it for today. Um, can I have a thumbs up if that's been useful? 
Great stuff. Good luck, everyone, and good writing. I'm very excited to see these plays. Good luck, everyone. Mwah! Well, we've done what we can to get them started, and now the pen is in their hand. <laughs> oh, it's good, isn't it? That? I took some tips from that. Well, to have access to those people, you know, and the takeaway from it, and what I took away was What'd that... What you take Frank away? Frank Cottrell Boyce's walls are a very nice colour. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>